friends, I'm Pastor Eun Seo. I'm so happy to have this time with you. So today, I thought we would build something. So I brought these blocks. So let's see if we can build a tower. So I'm going to start this white wine and then a red wine. And then orange wine. And then green wine. And the last one is yellow. I did it! See, we have a nice and colorful tower. And this block here, the white block, is what we call the cornerstone. This cornerstone block holds all the other blocks up. So what do you think would happen to this tower if I pulled this cornerstone block out? Yeah, it would fall down. And I'm curious if it really happens. So just let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh no. Yeah, our tower sure went down, didn't it? It can't stand if I pull out this cornerstone. Now, what if this tower means our faith? And what do you think the cornerstone of our faith is? Yes, Jesus. The cornerstone of our faith is Jesus. So I have this block named Jesus. In the Bible, 1 Peter chapter 2, Peter says, just like we use a cornerstone to start building a tower, God gives us a cornerstone and his name is Jesus. Jesus is like the most important block that holds all together in our faith. And Jesus teaches us how to love and how to care one another. So based on Jesus, according to his teaching, we can grow with goodness. And we can grow with gentleness. And we can grow with joy. And we can grow with love. So beloved Riceville kids, let us remember, if we lose Jesus, we lose our faith. It all falls apart. But we know that we will not lose Jesus because he promised to be always be with us and he helps us to grow in faith. So let's thank him for that. Dear Jesus, Thank you so much for being with us all the time. We know that you are the cornerstone of our faith. So keep us aware of how important you are to all of us and help us grow in faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.